Gods of our land! <laughs> DJ, my father's. Oh God! Chief, oh God! What is it? What happened to you? What is it? He has oh? taken it away from me! He has taken it away from me! What are you talking about? You are killing me with suspense. What is it now? Alex, he has been given the kingship of our kingdom. Oh. He has used his money to steal it away from me. No, 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 no. Oh. What you're saying? He has taken it away. Ah. God of our land. God of our land. You must correct this great Injustice done to me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You must correct it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. he has taken it. No, 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 wait. I now remember. She now said, What are we going to drop? What? No, what we're dropping when we're bringing everything back. I said, I don't know what you want. Amanda! Amanda, what are you doing there? Mama. Mama, wait, wait, wait. You were looking for me. I was just outside talking with David. You were what, eh, Amanda? Amanda, so in spite of all my warnings, you still go ahead and talk to that village boy? Mama, David is not just a boy. He's my friend. I mean, we've been friends since we we're little. Will you shut up before I slap out the remaining spit from your mouth? Amanda, are you okay? How many times am I going to tell you that you're caught out for better things than anything this village can offer you, Amanda? Mama, I don't see how that should affect my friendship with David or any other person in this village. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you something. Your life and success is way above anything this village can offer you. Soon you go to abroad to study. And when you're done, you go out there and get big things for yourself and for our family. I know all of that, Mama. But I don't understand why... Wait, I am not done. Amanda, you're my darling, especially since the death of your father. Please, I don't want you mingling with those riffraffs. Yes, Mama. Besides, David is the son of a commoner, while you, my daughter, is the daughter of a title chief in this village. Always aim higher than our present status, okay? Yes, Mama. Good. Let's go inside. Your uncle from the UK about your studies at the so Come on, please. Come oh, on, my darling, let's go. This is what this whole thing about. I mean, I'm not yet done with them. You can see. I'm just in the mood to... What are you doing? Well, do you have a choice? Because I have a message for you from Father. Should I speak to the head of everyone in this hey, room? Okay. Message from Father. Okay, girls, you can just... You can go. Papa Dog will call you later. Kiss, 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 kiss. What's the matter with you, Fanny? How could you bring this kind of girls into the palace? These things into the palace! Please, cut me some slack, brother. What are you talking about? This is my room. I reserve the right to, to, to do what I want. Prince, and everything you do bounces back a father and his position as king of this kingdom. And what do I stand to benefit? Being just a prince that will end up not even becoming a king? Please, please, you guys should leave me. Let me live my life the way I, 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 I deem fit, please. Fine, you're royalty, a prince. That should have an influence in the way you think and act. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry about that, but. Of what difference does it make when everybody treats me differently? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about here is the sort of preferential treatment everybody around gives you over me. I'm just like a, a second hand or second class or a third class prince as far as I'm concerned. If I... I was destined by the gods to be your elder brother. You are a prince. That should make you happy. I'm not angry 
Be content with what life has given you, my brother. <laughs> now let me say this, Pastor Prince Kelly. You can take your sermon someplace else. I'm sick and tired of you. You talking to me like that, like I'm some sort of child. I'm not a child. I understand what I do. Please get out of my room. Fine. If I, you are talking to your elder brother. Don't let those beards deceive you. What has my beard got to do with that? <laughs> Could that be where the whole thing is coming from? I'm asking you a question. Hold on. My face. <laughs> that was a little bit of a job. Yes, my friends. So, you look good on this. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. And uh, what of your brother? That's fine, he's on his way, he's coming. I understand this side, son. And I ask you, what is the matter? Nothing is the matter, Father. Everything is fine. Very well, then. I believe you. I am happy that we are going to discuss a serious um, matter about um, our people and uh, the lineage that gave us um, royal blood to date from our forefathers. Good day, Father. You have a great day. I'll see you later. Come back here, Ifani. What is the meaning of that? Ifani, were you not informed by your brother here that I said that we are going to have a very important discussion today? Yes, you told me. So what, what is it? You find it. Now sit down there. The history of our people, our family, our blood lineage that uh, gave us the royalty cannot be discussed. Standing. So you better sit down there. Sit down there quickly. I said sit down there and listen to me. Listen, Father. Please. I do not think what you have to discuss will concern me. You speak to your heir. He deserves it. Yes. Please. Excuse me. If I... If I come back here... If I... You come back here! Come back here, you! If I... You are walking out on me! Can you see your brother? Can you see how rascal he is? Don't worry. I am going to deal with it.
Thank you. Mama, why are you crying again? I'm sorry. It's just that I was just wondering how your father would have been if you were alive to see how mature and beautiful you are. Be proud of me, but he really appreciates everything you've done. Mama, I found out this <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's go inside. I have all your favorite dishes oh, waiting for you to go. I am so hungry. Now, let's go. <laughs> your wrapper. Don't worry, I'll pick it. My bag. <laughs> young for this. something very important. to I and my brother, ever since our mother died while we were kids. And that is why I've come to you, to advise me on something that is bothering me. And what is that? It's Ifani. Prince Ifani? What is the matter with Prince Ifani? Is he ill? No, not that. My relationship with my brother is progressively getting worse. I wish there's something I could do, you know, for us to go back to days when we are good together. My prince, you've said plenty without telling me what is actually the problem. What exactly would the matter with Prince Ifani? His recklessness. His recklessness is growing at an alarming rate lately. You know, I thought this was something time could fix in him, but I don't see that happening. I understand what you're saying, my prince. And we both know that he behaves that way because he resents your being the heir to the throne of our kingdom. I know. And I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with the heights and dimensions his resentment for me is taking lately. I am willing to give anything Anything at all to get my brother back on the right track. Hmm. My dear Prince, I would advise you to leave your brother alone. You see, your position is one ordained by the gods of our land, even before you were born. So whoever resents that has a battle waiting for him from the gods. Is that what you seriously advise? Yes, my prince. That will be my advice. Your younger brother has always resented his position and is an insult to the gods who made him the second son. Look, my dear. Every man must be happy with his destiny. 
That's the fact of life. I didn't hear you walk up to me. I don't blame you for that, dear. The way you sit out here was very plain enough for me to know you were miles away from Earth. Yes, my dear. My mind seems to fly about these days. Are you still worried about your plans towards the king and our kingdom? I will be lying if I tell you no. The whole situation gives me great cause to be worried. But why? Why? We seem to have everything under control. Nothing is ever under control in this world, my dear. <sighs> if things were proper, I should be king today. <sighs> that is a situation that is going to be remedied in a very short time. I believe that. Believe that, my dear. We just need to be focused and positive, and everything will work for our own good. Yes, I believe so. And Ugwani? What about him? The success and failure of our plan depends largely on him being able to accomplish his own side of this plan. And he knows this too well, my dear. Don't forget that he is also bitter about the way you were robbed of the kingship of our kingdom. I hope so. But he is a young man. And you know their heart and mind flutter too easily. We have to ensure that he does not lose sight of the importance of this mission. <laughs> My dear husband, Uguai might be young, but he's not stupid. Your being the king impacts positively on every member of this family. Most especially him. And he knows this too well. In that case, I don't really have much to worry about. Mm -hmm. No cause for alarm. Calamity! Calamity is going to be visited on this kingdom and none of it is going to be on my head or that of any member of my family. Yes, dear. Yes. If the court could stand and allow you to be robbed in broad daylight, then they shouldn't hold any of us responsible if we decide to do what they should have done. Yes. that this community has ever produced. You're welcome. Yeah, no problem. Please stop clowning yourself, Ugwani. My prince, but I have no intention of doing that. I am only paying respect to the greatest prince I've ever had of from this community. You are the greatest reason <laughs> Are you really serious? I mean, if people give me such accolades the way you do it, the whole thing would have soothed my heart. But the Peasants in this town don't understand what it is. And that really shows that they don't know how to treat the prince. But my prince, did anybody offend you? you? You know you have the power to deal with anybody the way you deem fit. It's my headache. I will take care of it. Don't worry about it. So how about the container? Is it ready? Uh, my prince, <clears throat> I've got everything ready just the way you like it. Everything is ready. Oh really? So why not? Let's just get inside so I can... Oh, no, 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 we can't go inside. Why? We can't do anything in my house today. 
my parents are over there. Do you have anywhere in mind so we can go? But Look, I can't wait. I can't wait. You need not worry, my prince. I've got a pleasant surprise for you. What is that? What's that surprise? Let's say you call it the perfect stress reducer. I know your brother, Prince Kelechi, and his majesty, the king, would have piled up enough stress on you. So I got you a perfect stress reducer. Are you serious, brother? Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. If that thing you've got makes me happy, if it makes me happy, I'm going to make you very happy. I mean, very, very happy. Trust me. So why not? Let's, let's, um, let's, let's, let's go somewhere. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go somewhere. Let's go. Prince is such a corrupting influence. I know, my dear. But they have to continue being friends. Because that's the only way we can be able to achieve our plans. Okay. How are you? Fine. How are you? Here we are, my prince. All for you. Just make a move and they're all yours. Yeah, we are specially trained to handle only men with royal blood. And we are here to do anything that you want. Anything, our royal highness. Did, did, did she say anything? Anything. They were specially trained to handle royal blood. Good evening, ma'am. Do you have an idea where she went? No, my lady. She went out. I know she's safe wherever she may be. You see how she goes out at night? I mean, it's late. Where could she have gone to? How could she... I... Mama. Do you know you look so much like my mother with that pose you have on? Mama, I am not laughing. I'm serious. I've been looking for you. Where are you coming from? I just went out for a walk. And as you can see, I'm fine. Who did you go to see at this time of the night? My daughter and inquisitiveness. You've not lost that. Don't push me off, Mama. Who did you go to see? Okay. What I went for was for our mutual benefit. Huh. Mom, come, let's go inside. Let me talk to you. You got me all wrong. We will talk about it. What are you doing here? How long have you been here? Well, long enough to see the future king of this kingdom get dressed. Wow, uh, you look... You look good. I mean, you look like the king father would love to approve of. If I... What do you want? Well... Well, as you can see, I'm here because I know you've got uh, father's ears, so... I, I made a request which he turned it down and I want you to go and tell father that I need a car today. Why do you want father to buy you a new car? If I, you can buy yourself any car that you want. <laughs> Come on. Now see, look at me. I'm a royalty. I'm a prince. And I, I, I deserve anything that I want. And I know father is capable. Well, I assume you already spoke with father and he turned you down. I'm afraid my reply is the same. No. <laughs> well, let me tell you what I did not tell father when he turned down my request. Huh? If he does not buy me a car, I'm going to go into the town. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to cause chaos here and there and everywhere. And he's going to rob a boat of you. Fine, you wouldn't dare. You know me, brother. I say what I want to do, and I do what I want to say. If it doesn't happen, I'm just telling you, I'm going to do what I'm saying. My father. 
That's my son. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, I have a request to make of your father. May I draw close and whisper in your ears? Yes. Come on. Go ahead. What's going on? You can go on with that. Hmm? But tell him. Tell him that his cup is getting filled up. Let him know that. I will, Father. Good. Thank you very much for understanding. Good. I see your eyes straining towards those birds walking along the road. <laughs> That's a good sign, son. Dad, what do you mean a good sign? I don't, I don't get it. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. I and your mother have been worried about you not bringing home a girl by now. Oh, come on, Dad. This, this is not the right time to talk about issues like that. You know we've got things to do in the palace. Okay. How are we going to do the talking? Are we going to call a national conference before you tell us why you have not brought a girl home as a girl you want to marry? I've told you this several that I'm only going to bring a girl home when I find someone I love. That's the way it's going to be. And you have not yet found a girl you love in the whole of this kingdom. Look, Ugani. I'm not going to take any disappointment. Oh, come on, Dad. I'm not going to disappoint you. Like I said earlier, as soon as I find someone I'm in love with, I'm going to bring her home as my wife. Why is that so difficult for you and mom to understand? Because we want things to move very fast. If you must be the king of our kingdom very soon, then you must find a woman you will settle with as a wife. Dad, I'm going to make you happy. Trust me. When I say I will, I will. Okay? Let's press it. Done. I'm done. You know I've got business to take care of around here, right? You go inside, I'll join you later. Ugani, be fast about it. You have my blessings as always, son. my prince. Hi, you going? How are you doing? I'm fine, my prince. As you can see, this is what I've decided to do all day. Um, I'm just... But my prince, you don't sound and look too happy. Is anything the matter? Ugwani, my man. I'm just tired with the whole... with this kingdom entirely. I mean, I just need to... just leave. I have to leave. I have to leave. I mean, I'm, I have to go somewhere else. That would be better for me. Ah, my prince, don't say such things before the people get to hear it. Lest they lose confidence in this kingdom. What are you talking about? I don't mean to patronize you, my prince. But the truth is, majority of the people in this kingdom look up to you to become the next king. Is that a fact? Because I've noticed the people of this kingdom don't really like me, but I don't care. I don't care about what they do or what they say, I just couldn't be bothered. No, 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 not true, my prince. What about the youths? Have you considered the kind of man the youth wants to become the next king when your father joined the ancestors? What are you, what are you saying? What are you talking about? Majority of the people in this kingdom want you to become the next king of this kingdom. Are you sure what you're telling me? My prince, we, we grew up together. Okay, I've known you since we were kids. 
I've watched you grow into a more unique man, even more brilliant than the present king, your father, and the heir to the throne, your brother. My prince, the people look forward to you becoming the next king. That's all the people want. I've ordered for a reward for you, you know, for what you did to me yesterday. But what you're saying now, man, you deserve double. So why can't we just go inside my quarters and then have the best of wines and jolly and, and, and be okay? Thank you so much, my prince. I, I, I would love to have joined you, but, but my prince, I beg your pardon to allow me to go for like an hour. I have something very important that I have to take care of. What is that? Uh, what, what, what is taking your attention? What is it that demands your immediate uh, time? My prince, it's a girl. Greetings, how are you? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> what are we proceed? Thank you, Igwe. Ah, yes. um, Igwe. Yes. I am very, very happy mm. to see you in this mood this time around, Igwe. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm saying this because all of us know that for some time now. Our Igwe has not been the same man we used to know. Yes. No, he is very observant, my brother. <laughs> a happier man when he was younger. Yes, Smiling Igwe for that matter. You see? But uh, surprisingly now, <laughs> Igwe is putting a smiling face. Ah, right, right. So please, Igwe, uh, um, <laughs> Your Highness, I want to ask this million dollar question mm. that I'm sure is bothering almost the mind of yes, every sir. elder. Yes, Igwe, please, could you tell us the cause of this sudden great display of joy in your face these days? <laughs> <laughs> you have spoken our mind. Um, I am so happy that uh, it has come to the notice of all of you that uh, these days uh, I'm always in a happy mood. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can say that this period is the period I enjoy the best of my mood ever since I lost my beloved wife. Yes. And um, naturally, something must have uh, caused my heart to rejoice. That I must tell uh, all of you soon. But, uh, before I go on to say that, can we enjoy this uh, fine palm wine, delicious palm wine, tapped by our own Renan Tapa? Are you sure we're not just doing all uh, going up and down in vain? I know what I saw, my friend. You know what you saw? How? Yes. I saw around here. How could you tell? Are you sure it's a girl you said? Ah, my prince, I saw this very beautiful lady. I'm sure she stays in one of these houses. Um, maybe I should go and ask about her. How could you children. go and ask for a woman you don't even know her name? You don't even know where she is. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, this is the moment. Uh, like I said earlier, something recently happened that always put a smile on my face. And uh, without wasting too much of our time, I'd rather go straight to the point and tell you what that thing is that has given me joy. Hmm? Um, I should go ahead. Yes, <laughs> well, um, elders of a land, I have found a woman that I am ready to spend the rest of my life with after the death of my wife. I remember the Christian book saying that one who finds a wife finds a good thing. <laughs> Your Highness, are you saying that you have found a woman you want to marry? Is that what you're telling us? You heard me, you heard me. And from this moment, I want you to start preparation of my marriage with that woman. Hmm? You have to do it in such a manner that my marriage with her will remain the talk of the town after many years to come. 
Uh, that is no problem, my king. I'm only surprised that you have suddenly found a woman on your own when we have all spent years trying to uh, uh, persuade you to remarry. And you rebuffed our entreaties. What could have happened that made you to change your stand? Well, uh, let me say that uh, I finally found a woman that uh, have an appeal that is strong enough to cause me to remarry. And um, I should also say this before all of you. All my actions is for the betterment of this kingdom. All my actions regarding this is for the betterment of this kingdom. Thank you very much, Your Highness. I want you to know that all of us here are overjoyed. Yes. <laughs> Although we are massively surprised. surprised. <laughs> uh, I am equally surprised that you didn't even ask me the name of my wife or the woman I have chosen to marry. But not to worry, I, I will go ahead and tell you people her name. Her name is Amanda. Yes, Amanda, the daughter of my late friend, Chief Amugo. My late friend. Yes, you know them. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I, uh, the, my in-law is even here, Mrs. Amugo. Let me present her before all of you. Uh, Ugochi. Yes, sir. Tell uh, Mrs. Amugo, my in-law, that I want to see her before my elders now. Good. Hey. Huh? Finally, finally. Yes. Thank you very much. Your Highness. Yes. You are welcome, my in-law. Elders, I present to you my in-law, Mrs. Amugo. My chiefs. You are welcome. Madam Amugo, so you knew this all this while and you kept a straight face all along. Your Highness, my chiefs, um, please know that it wasn't my intention to hide the fact that the king has set his eyes on my daughter for marriage. It is something I would have loved to shout at the rooftop, but the king made me swear an oath of secrecy until he makes the announcement himself. However, I must state clearly here that I am highly honored that the king would find my humble home worthy to come in and choose a wife for himself. Your Highness. That's a good one for you. You've spoken well, okay? Thank you. Uh, please retire. Let them give you whatever you want to eat. Yeah? Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where is the girls to rejoice? Elders. Mm. Oh, what's going for so far? Mm. Let us continue with our merriment. Yes. We have enough for you to dine and wine with, eat. Uh, 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 what we have here can feed an army. Mm? Mm. So enjoy yourself. Um, Ugochi. Please, please come, come, my dear. Tell all the maids to bring out all that we have with you for the elders, huh? Yes, Just want to have a word with you. 
I hope there's no problem. So, well, the only problem is that you don't know how to, to, to speak to royalty. You don't know how to greet royalty, especially when they're standing in front of you. I am so sorry, my prince. Pardon my manners. I didn't know you were the prince of the land. My prince. Well, you may rise now. You may rise. I can see you're well trained. But how come I've never seen you in this uh, village before? I actually just got back after six years of studying in the UK. Oh, wow. UK, that's nice. What did you study? Psychology. Oh, psychology, great. I, I studied um, economics in the UK, but I think I've been back now for eight years or so. Eight, eight years, my prince. Eight, eight years. years. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you then, my prince. Well, enjoy the pleasure, young lady, because I don't think um, um, anybody enjoys that aside, aside what you're doing now. So, what do I call this lovely young lady? Amanda. My name is Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Good. What a lovely name. For a beautiful woman like you. Well, that's great. Um, you just came out of this compound, is that? Is that where you stay? No. I actually came to see a friend. That's good. I beg to take my leave now, my prince. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I can't grant you that permission, except if you promise to come take dinner with me in my house tonight. I'll have to seek permission from my mother first. Don't worry about that. I'm sure your mother is going to permit you, especially when you tell her the prince of our kingdom is, is, is here to see you. Very well then. I bet to take my leave again, my prince. Okay, you run along now. Enjoy your day. We'll see you later. All right, please. Good. My prince, I, I think you, you scolded me. You're just... What are you saying? Come and get into the car. What's all this? Ugwani? Have you... Can you... What, what, what were you saying? Oh, boy. I know you are wondering why I want to marry now, having stayed away for years from it because of the love I have for your mother. <laughs> Am I that easy to read now, father? <laughs> no, son. But you see, <clears throat> when you didn't say anything while I was with the chiefs, I knew that um, I must get myself ready for you after the meeting. <laughs> so tell me, Father, why? Why are you doing this now? Because it is the best thing to do. As the king, I must make sure that the right woman comes into our royal family and strengthens it. I don't understand this. How does your getting married now strengthen the kingdom? Besides, I've made inquiries about this young woman. She's young enough to be a grandchild. Like I said earlier, everything I do these days is for the good and betterment of our kingdom. And also that which will protect your interest, especially my interest. I don't understand this, Father. All right, Kelechi. I am not getting any younger. As a matter of fact, I feel weak these days. That I don't know when I will join my ancestors. And something in me tells me that it could be soon. And um, as a matter of concern, all that I do these days is that which will ensure the stability of our royal line and this kingdom when I am gone. I'm sorry, Father. Seriously, I'm more confused right now than when I walked in through this door to talk to you about this. Totally confused. You don't need to be confused. Just be patient. Wait for the manifestation of things. Just patient. Be patient, okay? Yes, my father.
Yes. Obani, you're engrossed in your own thought. What, what's the matter with you? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine, my prince. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you sure about that? Very sure. Yes, my prince. <laughs> it's all right. I'm excited to hear that you, you're fine over the fact that I have uh, taken Amanda to myself. Do you understand? You know, Amanda is the right woman that should be by my side. <laughs> Especially now that we're on the quest of turning the kingship to my favor. You're right, my prince. My prince, you think that's proper? Considering the fact that I saw Amanda first, I'm actually the one that actually told you about her. Uh, my, you're the prince. You could get any other woman in this kingdom that you want. Why don't you just leave Amanda for me? Okay, okay, okay. Now listen, Uguanyu. I, I understand what you're talking about. But one thing you need to know is that I'm the prince. And tradition warrants that I, I, I have the first choice before anyone else. So Amanda is my first choice, and I've made that. And you know what could happen if you dare try to do anything. The consequences could be dire. Well, I know, my prince, I know. You're sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Now get into the car. Greed and selfish needs Ooh, is a terrible thing, yes indeed It is laced with lies and deceit And counterfeit emotions, oh, and actions It brings confusion and commotion and destruction oh people will die and people will cry just Amanda my daughter don't mama please don't I know you're still angry with what I've just told you but we still need to talk about it really we need to talk about what you have already planned and concluded on Amanda I am your mother I have spent a long time preparing for a time like this. The plan to have you become the queen didn't just start yesterday. I, I don't understand this. You want me to marry a man as old as my father were he alive and you see nothing wrong with it? Do you really need an honest answer to that question? Of course, Mama. Then no. I don't see anything wrong with you marrying a man as old as your father provided the man is a king and you, my darling daughter, become the queen of this great kingdom. Now that is the part that gets me angry. That is the part that infuriates me. Mama, why does everything have to be with what you want and how you want it? Wrong. You are wrong there. This is everything about you. Amanda, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten everything I told you since when you were a little child? How you were born for greatness and nothing less? So tell me, Mama. How does marrying a man as old as the king prepare me or lead me to greatness? My daughter, it leads you to greatness because you are going to become the most powerful woman in this kingdom. Amanda, this is something most families will gladly die to have. Why? Why did you send me to study in the UK if you knew you're going to waste it all the moment I get by by marrying me off to some old man? Fiakwa, Chukwa, God forbid, nothing. Don't say it again. Your studying abroad can never ever be a waste. Uh -uh. Instead, it will make you run this kingdom to our family's advantage. Excuse me? Amanda, open your eyes. Open your eyes and see what I'm laying before you. Okay, listen, let me explain something to you. Our king is an old man who will soon be confined to a sick bed. And then, that leaves you, my darling daughter, to organize things from behind the scene. And? And that places the whole powers of this kingdom into your hands. What more could be greater than this, my dear? What more? Tell me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I need air. I need air. I know that if father were to be alive, he will never consent to me marrying a man as old as he is.
if your father were to be alive, he would have been happy that I want to change the face and fortunes of this family and make it greater than it has ever been. Calm down, young lady, calm down. I am Chief Thomas, the Prime Minister of our kingdom. Oh. I'm... I'm sorry, Chief. I mean, pardon my manners, I'm actually not in a very good mood. I see. Uh, what would have made the woman who will soon become our queen angry? That's a private matter. I beg to be on my way now, please. Oh, in a little while, my dear, in a little while. Is that a problem? I mean, why are you staring at me like that? Oh, don't be angry with me. I'm only surprised. Surprised? What about? I am surprised why our king, with his high and refined taste, will settle for a woman like you, for a wife. Excuse me? Like I said earlier, don't be angry with me, but I'm a man that speaks my mind at all times. I don't see what the king will enjoy in you as a wife. Seriously? I mean, like, really? You mean a young and a beautiful girl like myself isn't good enough for an old man like your king? Oh yes, that's how I feel. I don't know what your mother would have done to be cloud the king's reasoning in this matter. I beg your pardon for the last time, chief. You don't know me and therefore have no right to make assertions about me. I don't need to know you on these days. Shame. Shame. Even if the king marries you today, he will very soon find out that you too has nothing to offer. Driver, get me out of this place. That's exactly what it is, you know? You know, for the past... Yeah, I understand, my prince. Two days I've been thinking about that. Ah, greetings, my prince. How are you going? Fine, thank you, my prince. Hi, big brother. I, I, I seen the car. You seen the car? Yes. If I... We are supposed to stay around for the meeting that I had with the Council of Elders. Where were you? Come on, what would I be doing in the midst of those <laughs> dirty men? <laughs> you know I'm bothered. Every time I speak with you, I struggle to grasp some form of sanity from whatever you say. My big brother, I don't think it will be any moment soon because uh, you and I both operate on different uh, wavelength. Whatever I think does not make sense to you and whatever you say doesn't make sense to me. So, uh, I don't think there will be a balance. <laughs> the car keys. The documents for the car inside the car. And please, if I complete your registration before you take the car to the state roads. And this will be the last time I go talk to father about getting you a car. If you need a car, you get yourself one. You get monthly allowances in this kingdom. That should be enough to buy you a car. Don't worry about that, big brother. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry. Very soon, I, I will be the one advising you on, on, on things. What do you mean by that? It's okay. Shouldn't be bothered about that because it wouldn't make sense to you right now. <laughs> Just forget about it. Oh, <laughs> um, well, um, Ugwai, um, I promised you a great favor, right? Ah, uh, yes, my prince. So, um, how about uh, being the owner of my old car? You really do think I'll make a good queen? Of course, I have no doubt about that. Let's do this. I will marry the king and become queen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. is my 
Prince. Where is Isabella? I'm sorry, my friend. She has been aware all day. Uh, she's resting now. And you think I care about her? If you do not go in there and tell her I'm calling her, right away, you'll be punished. Get in! Yes, my There are some old hacks that are in this palace and they always want to make me puke. I do not even know why my father is keeping them around. I don't know his aim. I, don't, I do not know what he wants to achieve. My prince, you sent for me. How may I be of help to you? Of course I sent for you. Now let me tell you something. I want you to prepare a banquet for me for two people, very important people I'm hosting this week. And I need to impress them. My prince, apart from the fact that I'm not feeling too well at the moment and cannot handle such task, your father, the king, has already ordered that I be kept free of all domestic activities in this palace. And, and what? Isabella, and what? Now listen to me, huh? Listen very carefully. If you do not do what I've just asked you to do, you will be banished to the, to, to, to the forest where you belong. My prince, this is not... This is not what? Huh? What, what? This is not what? Now let me tell you something. This has been what you've been telling me even before now. I was able to decipher them. I deciphered your secrets. That's not true, my prince. All I've ever said to you is to be content with your position in life and not to aim at what is not yours. Aim at what? Isabella, aim at what? Now let me tell you something. I just pray. I pray fervently and you should join me in such prayers that I finally ascend to that passionate, that, that passionate throne that I've been longing for. And at that point, at that point, Isabella, I shall crush, I shall crush any old hag hanging around. Finally, and for good. You do what I've just told you. What else? What is happening? What is happening? I don't Something terrible is happening. Where is the love? Where is the peace? And in unity, unity. That should be your mother's. Where is it? Morgan in a man, what is happening? Child, what is happening? I don't know. Something terrible is happening. Where is the love, the peace, and unity that shall be among us? My only regret is that your father is not here right now to see what a lovely woman you've become. I can imagine him smiling down on you wherever he is right now. My daughter, is that a frown on your face? What is the matter? The only reason I'm going on with this is because I gave you my word. Especially now that you've made up your mind to marry me off to the king. I just don't want to see you upset. That is the only reason I'm going on with this. And the gods of our land will bless you mightily for not causing me grief. My daughter, I love you so much. And I will never see anything bad and push you towards it. You're my only child in my life. I know, Mama. But what happens to me if the king dies tomorrow and leaves me a young widow? What would I do then? Uh, the tradition of our land will now take place. And you will be the wife of the next king and heir apparent to the throne. That is Prince Kelechi. Mama. I'm supposed to live a life without decisions of choosing who I want to be with. I, I just have to be passed from one man to the other, whomever sits on the throne as king. My daughter, it is not as bad as you think. The king loves you so much and will make adequate provisions for you. He loves me? How can he love me when he doesn't even know me? Hmm. Who says he doesn't know you? He was always acting after you while you were abroad. 
can't take back my word on you, mother. I will do this. But before I do, there's something you need to know. And what is that? I met the young prince today. He fine. And I think he likes me. What? <laughs> what does he want? He asked me to have dinner with him tonight at the palace. Amanda, Amanda, listen and listen good. When you go to the palace tonight to see the king, make sure, I repeat, make sure you avoid that young man called Ifani. He is nothing but bad news. Bad news! <laughs> Why does this young man like poking his nose into where he is not wanted? Why? What kind of nonsense is this? Please come back. Let me see how fit it is. Um, come on. I want to. Why am I bothered? Hey. Let me see how it is. The king will be delighted to see you looking so ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. What an embarrassment. I've not been this humiliated like this in my entire life. I wish I could just burn this guy right this minute. Whoever took that fool that calls himself if I can't afford a car. Oh God. How long am I going to have to snipe up to that idiot? How long will I have to sit back and watch him snatch everything away from me? There's no way I'm going to allow him to take Amanda from me. Never. Never. I'd rather die than watch that happen. I'm not like the first woman that has ever tickled my fancy and I want her like I want her to break. If I should expect a serious battle where she is concerned. Prince or no prince, the battle is going to be a battle of life and death. Never. Good evening, son. How was your time with Prince Ifani? Dad, my time with that orange idiot is best forgotten. I wish I had some bullets. I'd have loaded a gun. Poof on his brain. Calm down. He deserves some bullets on his head, Dad. Wait, son. What is the matter? Calm down and tell us what the problem is. What really happened? Why are you here with his car? His car? That's the gift that idiot promised me. Ah. He bought a new car for himself and deals me fit to use this old used one. I felt like breaking his neck no, then. You will do no such thing, son. Now, calm down. And tell us the cause of this tantrum you've been throwing about since you got into this compound. But what is it? Dad, Mom, I found the girl I want to marry. What? Okay. That, that should be a thing of joy. You should be happy now. So, why are you going about it as if you're crazy? I'm crazy, Dad. I'm crazy. You want to know why I'm crazy, Dad? I'm crazy because. I mistakenly told Ifani about her. It forced me to take him to her. Only for him to get there. And decide to seducing her and he wants to make her his woman. Just because he's a prince. And I'm the son of the Prime Minister. It's okay, son. Just calm down. Put yourself together. Okay? I understand how you feel with the way Prince Ifani has treated you. It is just the same way your father and I felt the period his father snatched the kingship off your father. Because he had no money than we did. But you have to come and collect it. Uh -huh. If we are to get back whatever we have lost from the king and his family. Mom, no? just calm down. Calm down, you suggest. Calm down, you suggest on this matter. I should calm down when Ifai has already invited Amanda to the palace. And he's trying to make her his woman. And you say I should calm down, Mom? What did you call the name of the girl you said Ifani snatched off you? Her name is Amanda. Uh, why? Uh, who is her father? She's from Chief Amago's house. Chief Amago? Oh, then that must be Chief Amago's daughter. And she is out of your reach, son. Dad? Uh, why? She is out of your reach. The king has his eyes on that girl. And the mother Grace Amago has already consented to give him her to the king 
in marriage. So, forget about that girl, so. Mom! Oh! Hmm? Because someday, you become the greatest king of this kingdom. There's no problem, Isabella. But please, please, don't kill yourself. That's all right, my dear. Like I told you, I'll be fine. Stupid emotions, oh, and actions. It brings confusion and commotion and destruction. Oh, people will die and people will cry just because of this dangerous ambition. What are you waiting for us with the king? What did you say? The lady you're waiting for has been with the king and the priest for the past one hour now. For you said I wouldn't what happened between you and the king tonight. Nothing special. Yeah. But the king is a perfect gentleman. I told you so, didn't I? But lots of gifts. Yeah. I have to see. Come, come, I know there's so much on the floor. <laughs> come on, so there's, there's nothing to do. Come and show me. Yes, <laughs> Dad, I hope you're not here to talk me out of my love for Amanda. Because you're really wasting your time. I am not here to dissuade you from whatever you have fetched your thought and desires upon. I'm only here to ask you one question. Do you want to be the king of our kingdom or not? I don't want anything else but Amanda. She's all I want. Never before as a woman ever affected me this much. I believe you know her well. Dad, think of what will happen when I get to know her properly. I see. But I'm sorry you will never be able to get the woman you so much desire for yourself. And 
it is apparent that you are a fool. And I hope you don't die a fool. Dad, you need to help me on this. Please, Dad. The woman you want is for the king now. And the only way you can ever get her is in the position of kingship. Oh, when the king dies, either of the sons inherit the woman. But if you are king, she automatically becomes yours. As a matter of fact, as a king, you can have any woman you so desire. So, as a Christian book says, seek ye first the kingdom, and every other thing will be added unto you. The kingdom. The kingdom. Um, Isabella, I summoned you to inform me that I want to take uh, the daughter of uh, late Chifamungo as my new wife. And I just want to know your opinion on that. What do you say about that? <laughs> you are the king, your highness. And you have every right to take any woman of your choice in this kingdom for a wife. You are right, my dear. But you know me very well, well enough to know that um, I am not such kings that exercises power and authority arbitrarily. Um, I've also tried to teach my sons all that. So I want you in your heart of hearts to advise me as usual. What do you say about that? Hmm. Honestly, Your Highness, I think it's about time. I know how much you loved your late wife. Hmm. The noble woman I enjoyed seven. But um, I support your decision to take another wife, to take care of you now. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you so much. But that's a problem. If I need. Each time I set my eyes on that boy, I will always have sleepless nights. He's only a boy, Your Highness. I'm very sure he will outgrow the level he's in now in a short while. His attitude. His attitude baffles me all the time I see him or get to hear what he continues to do. Like asking you to prepare a banquet for him when he knows very well that I would wish that you continue to live until the gods want you. Please, Your Highness. Don't bring him to account on that. Hmm? It's my duty to serve him as my prince, no matter what. When he's supposed to be the chief servant. But you see, the problem with that boy is that he has a warp of an idea that has a royalty that he will do whatever he likes to do. Thank God, Isabella. Thank God I have another son that can take care of the kingdom when I am no more. Thank God for that. Um, Your Highness. Yes. Uh, please, I want to make a request concerning Prince Ifani. Ifani? Yes, Your Highness. All right. Go ahead. What's that? Um. It's very obvious that he resents his position as the second son and wants to take after you as king. 
And um, because of this, he resents everyone and um, has this feeling of being relegated to the background. So I suggest you carve out an office for him. Uh, an office with much responsibility, Your Highness. Perhaps that will calm his spirit. Isabella, I understand what you want, but I say no to that. No, because we will not continue to spoon feed Ifan all his life. <laughs> Even as a second son, he already has some privileges attached to that. So. I will not do that. I will not carve another office just to make him happy. I will not. And that settles that. Um, please, when you rise at the end of this discussion, go to my room, look under my bed. You see a parcel there. Bring it for me. Hmm? Yes, Your Highness. Ah. Greed and selfish needs Ooh, is a terrible thing Yes, indeed It is laced with lies and deceit And counterfeit emotions Oh, and actions It brings confusion And commotion And destruction Oh People will die and people will cry just because of this dangerous ambition. Oh, in a name, what is happening? What is happening? Something terrible is happening. Where is the love for the peace? matter with you? Why have you kept yourself in here to cry like a baby? Ma, Dad, why don't you leave me alone? To cry myself to death if I so wish. If you should leave me alone, stop disturbing me, please. No, sweetheart. We are not here to disturb you, but to make you that Amanda is going to be yours in a very short while. If only you will be a man and do what we have outlined for you. That's what he said weeks ago. Only for the king to get married to her just yesterday. And now he's trying, he's trying a big party. He has invited the entire kingdom to go celebrate with them. I've lost my mind I have received reports that Prince Ifani is on his way back to the palace today. Yes. Dad. Are you sure what you're saying? The people are not saying this just to calm me down. <laughs> I am sure of what I am saying, son. Don't forget that our chance of getting the throne depends on the way we use Prince Ifani. So now that he's back, you have to get back to his friendship and trust and set the stage for what is going to happen very shortly. <laughs> 
But the question is, if you are ready to carry the tax ahead, or do we just forget about everything? No, Mom. No. I have actually lost all hope of continuing this situation. But now that you see Principal is back to the kingdom, I have hope. Dad, Mom, I'm going to be king. And when I become king, I'm going to take my Amanda back. That's the spirit wow. talking. That's my son. <laughs> now, just get set. Let us leave for the palace. It will not do us any good to get there too late. Of course. Of course. Let me dress up. Hurry up, okay? We're waiting outside. Oh my yourself out with worry. But I have to worry, Father. My guards reported to me that Ifan is on his way back to the kingdom. I know that is trouble. Ifan, he left us because he couldn't stand my marriage to Amanda. And if you ask me, it was a wise thing to do. Yes. And so, I do not foresee any problem with his coming back at all. But Father, if I vowed never to see me sit on the throne as king, and knowing the kind of man if I is, we shouldn't take this for granted. Don't worry with what if I does. Okay? Let me tell you, Kaleji. There is no way he can stop you from what the gods had already planned for you or someone else. He can't. What would be would be all right but father i had wanted you to banish ifai from the kingdom until the time that i see his feet must not like that you are going to become the king after me because that is what the gods want do i make myself clear but father is it wise for us to close our eyes to everything if i does and hand the matter over to the gods just like that, is it? So, what do you want to do now? Banish Ifai for some time, just for... This world has seen any angel as lovely as you. Thank you. But anyone who's adorned with so much beautiful ornaments will certainly look as lovely as I know. But my queen, the special queen, I'm sure the king will be very proud of you. He stated that several times yesterday during your wedding ceremony. I know. I know. I hear Prince Ifa is back in the palace. Yes, my friend. The news has been circulating all over the kingdom since the morning. But although everyone thought he would be around for your wedding yet ceremony yesterday. I don't care about his absence from your wedding ceremony yesterday. You're the queen of our kingdom. The second only to the king himself. The king will be waiting for me by now. Prepare me. Yes, yes my friend.
Yes, um, thank you very much. I feel great joy and pride as you are king today. Yesterday, you all gave me the greatest honor when you turned out a mass to share with me in my joy as I took this beautiful woman as my wife and made her your queen. Thank you very much. Today again, I am happy standing before all of you to make yet another very important pronouncement which I know will come to so many of you as a surprise. But the truth is that uh, I have uh, decided to step aside and watch things shape up in this kingdom. This also means that I need some rest because my bones are failing me. My health has taken a dip. Now listen to me all of you. Today, I am proud to make the crown prince, Prince Kelechi, you are king designate of this kingdom. Yes, he is going to become the king designate in my stead on acting capacity pending his full coronation. What this means, my people, is that Kelechi will not take decisions presiding over the Council of Chiefs and all the meetings in the palace because with my help chiefs and the elders of our land and also enjoy everything that accrues to him as my benefit. <laughs> the king, listen, please come. Kelechi, today you are hereby crowned the king designate of your people and you shall rule them with transparent honesty. Do you get that? And uh, my dear, please come. Come forward. Today, again, I want her to become the wife of Prince Kelechi from this moment. I'm back home.
My friends. Yes. Your friend Brian is outside, but you to see you. Send him in. Excuse me. My friends. Greetings, my friends. Welcome back. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you, my friends. Good. So um, now tell me, what have you been doing in my absence? <sighs> Nothing much, my friends. I've just been grieving over the great injustice that was done you while you were away. Injustice? Did you say? Yes, my friends. What sort of injustice are you talking about? I'm talking about your father getting married to the woman you love, Amanda, and then handing her over to Kelechi, your brother. Also making Prince Kelechi the king designate. That's more than enough injustice done you already. Ogwani, if you must know, my little stay away from the kingdom has actually opened my eyes to some very pertinent things. And I've come to see very few things in injustice. Whatever that has happened behind me while I was away is considered to be no injustice to me. My prince, are you trying to say you're okay with all they did? Of course, I'm fine. I'm very okay with everything. The well, good thing about it is um, right now that I'm back, I'm a better and a wiser person and I'm fully ready and equipped to handle what is mine. But the only hitch that might be would be your state of mind. Um, my prince, I don't understand. What, what do you mean my present state of mind? Don't be coy at me. Please, Ryan. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the woman called Amanda. The woman you and I both share love with. The woman we all care about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And also, I want to find out your state of mind in working with me as your prince and your, your, your king to be in no time. Yes, my prince, of course. I'm ready to work with you. I've come to realize that my future is intertwined with yours. And I can be nothing in this kingdom unless you become king. Oh, really? You come to realize that? Now you've accepted the fact that I'm your superior, right? Now you've accepted the fact that I, I, I will take my better share far, far even before you do. Yes, my prince. <laughs> that is good. I've come to accept my status in life, my prince. Oh, really? No problems. You will take things one after the other. But the most important thing is to avenge what my father and my brother have done to me. All the injustice they've done to me, the pains they've made me pass through, a couple of months ago. And that, they must pay for it. You're right, my prince, yes. Um, my prince, can I ask you a question? Um, if you don't mind me asking, I'd like to know where you've been in the past three months and what you've been up to. I'll link you up on that. But I must let you know that my few months away from the kingdom is in preparation of my taking over. Alright? So when that is done, I shall intimate you. You'll be aware of it. Okay. That's that. Once again, welcome back, my friends. Oh, please go. Um, Are you happy? <laughs> you go. Go ahead. Go ahead and see her, all right? Very careful about your brother, Ifani. He is my son, though, but I do not trust him fully. I don't. He has this uh, glint in his eyes always and very, very ambitious. And it is this desire of his to become the king when he has no such destiny that will destroy him. So, son, I want you to be very, very careful. Is that okay? Okay, father. Good. I'm always careful if I, always. Please be, all right? Okay, you may go now. Thank you very much, father. Big 
brother, where are you headed to? Oh, I see. Someone is headed to go with the meat that was stolen in a girl for her. Kelichi, when will you ever be a man? Huh? For once in your life, when? If I ever see you back and still use yourself, you're welcome. Whoa! Someone has grown up. I see. Interesting. Mm. Hmm. You see, if I. You know, we can end this and come together as brothers. You're a Not a what Huh? You, 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 you never fought for anything you, you, you ever had. Everything you ever had well, was fun for at least on your, your, your laps uh, by father. See, I, I've tried to be a brother to you. I've really tried. But it seems I've failed. If you want to see me as an enemy, fine. Then you'd be my guest. And I do not have any problem. I don't have any problem with that. But let me tell you something. You have in your possession what belongs to me. And what could I be? Amanda, of course. I'm talking about Amanda. Look, she is mine. I saw her first. I approached her as a man. You never did anything. Father stole her away from me and, and placed it on your hands. <laughs> please, please. Please don't make me laugh. You can do better than this. Come on. You can. It's funny, right? But let me tell you something. <laughs> The toy will the lion. If you ever push it, this go far further than this. I bet you I am going hey, to make it fine. Stop doing worthless hair. You can send me in the mood for this. I will assure you one thing if I am watching you. If you continue with this attitude of nuisance, disturbing this palace, I won't be scared to deal with you. Wow. And punishment is not far from what I'm thinking. Wow. Okay. We'll see. Very beautiful. And I'll do everything, everything within my powers to make you happy in this palace. Everything? Everything. Thank you, Your Highness. Just relax. This is now your home. Is that I will take advantage of the memory card you have on your phone, nail him, and be in total control of the situation? No. You are only acting under your riotous emotions. And I'm not going to allow you to push us all into making a big and damaging mistake. No mistake. There's no mistake. I spoke with Ifai today. I know what I saw. If I is a different man from the man we used to know, we better act fast before it's too late. Do you understand that doing that will mean kickstarting our plans to make Ifai a king? After which he will be blackmailed for you to take over. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need to do before Kaleshi consolidates his hold on the throne, thereby making it difficult for Ifai to get there. Ugwani, I think you should give a lesson here to your father. Huh? Let us just do as he says. Even if we are going to lay our hold on Ifai, it is not something that will be done within the next one month. One month? One month, you say? That's not enough time for Kaleshi to have a concrete grip on the throne, therefore making things pretty difficult for us. Or enough time for us to get our acts together in view of recent development in order to take the best and most necessary decision to get what we want. Oh, come on, come on. I know both of you feel I'm doing this because of my love for Amanda, but that's not true. I love Amanda, but the truth is, I've seen the need and the urgency for us to nail him now before things get out of hand. Let's nail him once and for all. No. And this is going to be the last time I'm going to listen to you say this to me. As long as this business is concerned, I am the one planning and leading all of us into this business. 
So it's either you listen to me or you get ready to be kicked out on your own there. Talk to him, please. But I've come to see you. I mean, you, you, have, to, you have to answer me. I, I need to know if I'm your son or some, some child you picked from the gutters. I don't know what you are talking about, son. I don't know. What are you talking about? Father, you have to answer me. You have to answer me, please. I need to know. So I, I know that you hate me so much because I'm not your biological son. And that explains the, 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 the ill treatment meted on me all these years. If I'm... Nobody meted any ill treatment to you. The problem you have is that you bite more than you can chew. And of course, the fact that you don't have patience. I'm not patient. Of course, yes. I'm not patient, Father. Yes. How could I be patient? When all the years, what you, you, you were busy building, make, making a bed for, for, for your favorite son, Kelechi Kele, Kele, to lie on. How could I be patient on that? You see, let me tell you this tonight, if I know. You see, this world, this life, is so simple that one can get whatever he wants. When you are prayerful and get the approval of the gods, yes, you must be patient to get the approval of the gods and you must be prayerful. Patience is a virtue that you must cultivate. And until you do that, I'm afraid you may not get to the part of your destiny. <laughs> oh, Father, man. Father. You, you know, I have to, I have just... Hey, uh, fine. I have closed this matter. All right? Life is not in my hands to control. I've done what I can do for you. Now, what you decide to make out of your life lies on your hands. Be careful. I've told you my beats. Now, get out of my face. I'm not surprised. Are you not going crazy gradually? Rascal. Darling, I'm afraid the way Uganyi is behaving. I don't think he has the nerves of steel to carry out something like this. You are very much correct there. That is why we have to take full charge and make sure we do what we have to do to make sure he becomes king while we are alive. So, what do you suggest we do now? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean by nothing? We can't just sit down, fold our arms and watch things pass by like that without doing anything. We can. And that's what we are going to do. Listen, Informa. No one expected the action of the king today when he handed over his crown to Kelechi. But we have to be calm and watch how events unfold for us before we act. I still don't get you, my dear. What exactly are you driving at? Kelechi is a very soft man, one that we can mold and control easily. Now that he's king, I can easily get him to dance to my tomb in the Council of Elders meeting. We may not have anything to do with Ivani again. We can just go straight through Kelechi and get what we want. That is quite true, my husband. You do have a point there. Imagine where Kelechi becomes a clay in my hands. And I can make him to do whatever I want him to do. Mm -hmm. And very soon, I will get him messing up on the throne. And the people will have no alternative than to ask for his head. And since they already hate Ivani, it will be easy for our son <laughs> you got it right. Hmm. I pray this thing will work out too. So it's going to work. How it's fine. Right.
gonna let you go. But promise me you won't make any noise. Mm -hmm. Okay? What are you doing here? Come on, what's wrong with you? I... I am... I know that you need a real man. And I'm that man I can satisfy you. No, no, no. What you I mean? belong to another man. The king designates himself. Please, you... You have to leave. If he sees you here, he'll take up your head. Don't worry about that. That's my brother. He's nothing but weak and stupid. Huh? He's not man enough to take care of you. No. Huh? You have to leave now, else I'll scream. Please leave. Why do I know this like your heart needs me? Why do I feel like your heart is racing like a Ferrari car? Huh? Come here. No. Dressed already? Where are you heading to? Um, actually on my way to the palace to see if I'm... This alley that you won't even take your breakfast? Father, not to worry. Okay, I will eat at the palace. I'm sure whatever reason he must have had to have sent for me this early. It must be very important and urgent. Okay, but what do you say about my decision to stay down our plan of taking the throne and watch how events unfold? before we take. Father, Father, you've you made it quite clear to me that I have no power of my own to take decision on this business. Of course, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I want you to understand that what I am doing is for your own benefit. I know I have told you this story over and over again, but it is something you will never be tired of hearing. I have lived my entire life in this kingdom. I was trained to be the next king when it is the turn of my family to produce the next king. The present king was in faraway London studying. But when it was time for my family to produce the next king, the kingmakers came up with this stupid ruling to bring him back to become king. Because they needed someone who is educated internationally to become king. No one cared about me. No one cared about my feeling. They compensated me with the position of the Prime Minister. That is not what I want. What I wanted was the kingship, the throne. And that is what I am going to get for you. Do you get me, son? Do you get me? You will be king. Even if it has to cost me my life. I do, Father. Let me assure you, Father. I will be the next king of this kingdom. Even if it has cost some of my own blood, I won't disappoint you, Father. some changes in this kingdom very soon. I have the intention of making sure that Kelechi does not become king instead of me. 
Look at me. I've got all it takes to become king. I've got the brain and the qualities. Right? Besides, I need to become king so I can pay back father and Kelechi over what the, 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 the ill treatment needed on me for many years. But I need to know if you are with me on this. My lord, I am with you in anything you choose to do or want. Just say the word and it will be carried out a little later. No matter the conditions. Mm. I don't know. Now let me tell you something. You better make sure you are with me on this. Once you are in this, there is no going back. There is no going back. Or else I have your head cut off. I have it on my window rails. If I find out that at the end of the day, you want to back out. My friends, my life and everything that makes me human, I hand over to you this minute. I am ready to die to the very end of this issue. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. My dear young lady, I didn't come here to accuse you of anything. We are women and we both know the ways of men, especially when they are taken by a woman. You said you saw the prince leave my room at night. And I maintain my stance that I don't know what you are talking about. I say, you want to prove stubborn to me. Anyway, I want you to know that I'm very much aware that Prince he finally left this kingdom when he knew that his father wanted to marry you. And he did that because he cares about you. He's back again. And if he's the same person I know, I'm very sure he's going to try in patting your legs to know the hidden secrets there. How dare you speak to me like you're speaking to some prostitute? What nonsense is this? I've only come to warn you about Prince Ifani. He could be a pen in the neck. And he's not in the best of terms with his elder brother. Don't come between them. I warn you, old woman. Stay clear of me. You had better leave my chambers right now for my attendants to come here and perform their duties. My daughter, I didn't come to fight with you. I've only come to offer a modly advice and... And I warn you that it's enough. This discussion has lingered long enough. Keep your advice to yourself. Better still, Render it to people who need them. I don't. Leave me alone. Okay, my daughter. I'll take my leave now. But don't forget what I told you. This kingdom is now in your hands because you have two brothers who want you to belong to each of them. If you allow that to cause a rift in this kingdom, you'll be held responsible and you pay the price for that. Who is that? You're threatening me? Oh, my daughter. I only offered my advice, and it will be in your best interest to take it. Do have a nice day, my daughter. Wait. My daughter. I know that you took care of my husband and his brother when their mother, the queen, died. I will have you know that I am queen of this kingdom now and I demand to be addressed and treated as such by everyone and that includes you. I never want to see you in my chambers unless I give you permission to come here. Don't you ever call me your daughter. I am your queen. My queen. To see how some people 
can be so wicked It's hard to believe The extent they're willing to go To achieve their selfish aim They will do anything and everything They will steal, they will kill, deceive and betray And anyone who stands in their way you're welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please have your seats. My king, may your reign be long. May you live longer than the whole kings that this kingdom has ever produced. I greet you, my king. Thank you. Thank you very much. What may I do for you, Gwani? Hey, my king, I, I have come to tell you Something that will shock you out of your bone marrow. Something very, very important to this kingdom. Hey, Go straight to the point, Sugani. Uh, my king, there is something I want to show you. Something. Hey, Ugwai, how are you? Uh, what's up? I was told your car was parked in the compound. Come, 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 come to my quarters. It's fine. Ugwai came to tell me something important. He just bashed me. Hey, Skeleti, mind yourself. Do you hear me? This is the last time you're gonna speak to me like this. How dare you? How dare you what? How dare you how come into your lower chambers and talk to me like this? You like how dare you walk into the chambers and talk to me? How? How? I will you out of your mind? Out of what? I will punish you. Punish what? I will punish you. Dare not. Don't be mad. I will punish you. 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 Let me keep him there, Lord! I will deal with him! He's fine here. He's fine here. Don't think because of this sin you're gonna talk to me like that, Galaxy. Huh? You got get out, get out of my sight! Kalechi's got the right to send the guards at me? Huh? Let me tell you something. He has chewed more than he can swallow in his lifetime. And I'm going to cut him down to his size. If I calm down, I'll do that. I advise you to calm down. I advise you to weigh your options before you take any action against Kalechi, your brother. He's not a king designate, you know? And that's where I heard of being a prince. What are you talking about? Ugwani, what are you talking about? Let me tell you, I'm going to prove you wrong. You and all those that, 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 that believe otherwise. I will prove you wrong. Come on. It's not that I, what I'm trying to tell you. Don't give me that bullshit. Don't give me that bullshit. What is wrong with you? Huh? Since when have you started visiting Kelechi? You've changed your allegiance, right? You have. Since when have you started coming to this palace to see any other person than me? Will you shut up? Will you shut up and listen to me for once? Will you shut up? Talking to me? Do you know who I am? I said shut up. I want to shut up because it's difficult for you to understand. I don't care who or what you think you are, okay? I want you to listen and listen attentively. Because what I'm about to show you could make or mar your future. What are, you, what are you talking about? What's that? What, what's this? Go watch this at your major time. It's a movie. It's a movie with you as a star actor. Remember the other day I hooked you up with those ladies? Remember? I got it all recorded in there. You did? Don't ask me questions, okay? You were lucky you came into the palace while I was talking to your brother Kelechi. You actually came in at the right time. Because I was about handing that over to him. But why? How could you do this? How could you do this to a friend? How could you do this to me? <laughs> friend? Did they just hear you call me your friend? What's your my friend? Your friend? What kind of friend treats his friend like a piece of trash? You're the sole reason I lost Amanda. I lost Amanda the very day I took you to her. <laughs> so, all this theatrics is about Amanda, huh? Don't ask me questions for your information. I 
I've made several copies of that. And I got up even in different safe places in case you try anything funny. What do you want? What do I want? What do I want to ask? What do I want? I want you to be my plaything. I want to control you. I want to do everything I ask you to do. Else, I'm going to show that to the world. I'm going to go public. That's what I want. Okay? What brings you here, young woman? Oh, hello. My name is Medina and I'm here to see your queen. You have to wait, please, while I get her informed about your presence. Sure, thank you. All right. He wants to get me mad. Why does he always antagonize me? Every single time, I've tried to be a good brother to him. But he keeps annoying me in any way he can. And we have to banish him from this kingdom. Banish him? Banish your own brother? Yes, because I need to concentrate on ruling this kingdom. I can't do it to defy a round. That's not right. What will people say? You want to banish your own brother? They may turn against you. No, they won't. Everybody hates a fire in this kingdom. In fact, they'll be happy that I've sent him out of this kingdom. Really? Really? Yes. Really? And you think that feeling is going to last for long? Oh, of course not, my love. They are going to throw it at your face. They will throw it at your face someday. Someone will say to you, you sent away your only brother so you could inherit the whole palace, the whole kingdom, in entirety, and give it all to yourself. Now, what's that called? Greed, greed. That's what they call it. I don't care. I don't care. All I need is to get me away and out of my sight so I could get my bearings right. If Fanny is driving me insane, don't you get it? I do. Easy does it. Easy. Oh, someday. It's all going to work out in your own favor and you won't believe it. You have to take things easy. Well, I guess a man has to listen to his wife sometimes. That is necessary. And that is why I'm going to take this line low. But I can't promise you the same next time he comes pulling the same stunts he pulled in front of a guy today. Yes. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Come in. Your Majesty. Yes. There's a young lady waiting outside to see you. Her name? Her name is Medina. Let her in. To achieve their selfish aim, they will do anything and everything. They will steal, they will kill, deceive and betray. And anyone who stands in their way They will crush Cause all they want to do Is to achieve their evil intentions Oh, oh what a world What a wicked world What a wicked world We're living in Man's inhumanity to man okay. Is the honor of the day Oh, what a yeah. world I need you to get me two men. I have an assignment for them. 
says my prince. I mean man that we can trust. I mean that we can trust. Yes, my prince. I think I got just the right two men for this job. It's okay. You like know. they say every day is for the thief. But one day is for the owner of the house. You can carry out your evil deeds. Thinking you get away, get away with it. Ah! Wow, I can't believe what I'm saying. What? I thought you were joking when you said you're not the queen of your kingdom. Tell me, how did this all happen? Well, it's a long story, maybe not trust me. It is a long story, but okay. let me cut it short, I like summarize it. I'd say that my family married me off to the king, Quinton married me off to his cute son. And then now I'm the queen of the kingdom. Whoa. <laughs> I, I would not believe the story if I've heard it from somewhere else. But tell me, how come you've consented to being passed around, front, left, right, and center amongst the men in this family? Medina, that is why I insisted on seeing you. My goodness, girlfriend, I need to talk to somebody. Somebody that will understand me. I need to pour my heart out to somebody who understands oh, how I feel. Oh, what is the matter? I've fallen in love. <laughs> Come on! That should be expected. You're a young woman, besides, you're married. Yes. But I am not in love with my husband, the king designate. What? I'm in love with his younger brother. Is that allowed in this kingdom? Of course not. Oh my goodness. The good thing is that he feels exactly like I do. Oh, you need to see the way he looks at me, Medina. Oh, he's everything my husband isn't. He's romantic, he's strong. It's fearless. Uh, uh, Amanda, Amanda, cut it. I think I know what the matter is with you. You're lost in after your husband's younger brother. But you know that's dangerous, right? I don't care. Oh, just one night with him. One night with him under the skin and boom. That obsession is killed. Amanda, so you actually asked me to come see you so you could seek my support for you to start sleeping with your husband's younger brother? Yes, what is wrong in that? Oh, come on, babe. Part of the reasons I agreed to marry the king is because I knew that his younger son would be at my beck and call to attend to my sexual needs. Amanda, I cannot even advise you to sleep with any other man apart from the man you're married to. All right, thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. Finally, you have brought forth grief to my life. I mean, what kind of a friend are you? You ought to be on my side. Well, I'm on your side, but I'm the kind of friend who would not even advise you to do the wrong thing and point you to the right direction when you're going the wrong way. Come on. Enough of this conversation. Won't you entertain me the way a queen should? Of course I will. Brandy. Amanda! Snap out of it. Come on, call, you, call your mates. Let them do something. on my side, remember? <laughs> Oh, you're still my friend. I was just trying to be nice. My wife is a pain in the for me, your highness. She wouldn't cook for me as a wife should. I go to the family and come back without seeing any food at home. What kind of a wife is that? How do you expect me to give you food when you don't give me any money? Hmm? How do you need to cook for you? Do I pay the hair and I have to cook for you? Is that what you want from me? You're a very stupid woman. If you had any sense, you should realize that women don't ask their husband for money these days. You have to go out to the house and look for money to feed your family. That's why I think you're a madman. Maybe you want me to start sitting around so that I can raise money to feed you. Eh? Or eat you? You're a very stupid woman. Yeah. You want to go and for your husband, me? for your family. Me? You want to go up and look for one and for your family. I don't believe you. You should do that. What kind of your wife are you? Yeah, I don't want to go up your mind. But you said no, no. Oh, man, no, man. Do you realize that you are in front of our king? Or don't you have respect for our king anymore? If not for one thing. You too would have been fought to death for this disrespect. Oh, my king, please forgive them. It's okay, children. It's okay. Do have your seats, children. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Highness. You know, I've heard what the both of you have said here today. But I will assure you that the problem here is not that he will not bring money for you to cook. Or that you will not cook for him. It's obvious that the both of you have lost respect for each other. That is why you guys rant on and on and on. And there's nothing anybody can do to make this marriage work. 
and said to both of you understand that the destiny of this marriage lies in your hands. You guys need to talk more often to make this marriage work. And from what I've seen here, it's obvious you don't even have time for each other anymore. Am I right? You are right, Highness. He never has time for me anymore. Do you have time for me? You go about with lazy women, gossiping about the family, to the detriment of your husband. Enough! Enough! What insolence! I will send you both home instead of sending you to prison for this public nuisance and constant fighting in my presence. I want the both of you to go home and sit down and have an honest dialogue concerning this marriage where you want the marriage to go because I want this marriage to work between the two of you. I give you three days to talk with each other and come back here and tell me what you resolve to do in this marriage. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. Igwe, this couple should have been punished. My prince. Good day, Chief. Good day, my prince. Yes. Hey, hey, don't, don't give me that look. Look, I, I come in peace. Look at my hands. I'm not here to fight you this time. If I... Yes. What do you want? Well, um... You know. Going by the way you treated those, um... Couple. That was, uh, that was a really brilliant one. I don't think if I wear in your shoes, I'll be able to do that. I, I can assure you. Uh, I appreciate this, but I accept it with some skepticism, and you know why. <laughs> your Highness, my brother. You see, um, I must say that um, the way you handle those couple, it really touched me. It, it stood in my heart. And... It was, it was really great. I, I think the only problem you have in here is um, the fact that I, I, I challenge you a lot. So this time around, I'm, I'm ready to just cooperate and give you all the maximum cooperations you need. I'm, I'm serious about that. Fine. <laughs> Knowing the kind of man you are, you know this is hard to swallow. Are you serious? Chief, what do you think? Yeah, my prince, you have really spoken fine. Your Highness, please consider his position. Mm, me too. You know, you don't know what this means to me as king. We shall do. How are you? Hi. And unfortunately, I've been toying with the idea of banishing you from the kingdom. Enough, Amanda. Come in. What? I cannot stand here and listen to you say such words about your husband's younger brother. All right. Come, because he's caught on his beers. Well, I I know, I understand. I mean, if I was the one, I, I would have done the same too. But um, it's okay. Oh well. Um, I I, I want to go on tour around our kingdom to see. I mean. The people, you know, the environment again. You know, it's been it's been months now. So, uh, that is beautiful, a brilliant idea. See, if I were you at it, take two of my cars and join with yours. I would love the people of this kingdom to know that my brother is back and having a tour of the kingdom. <laughs> Come here. Thank you, big brother. I appreciate. It. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Good. This is beautiful. I mean. Let's just have a toast for this, please. To lasting friendship and brotherhood. You know, but I, I can say it better. Okay. To the gods and to, to the sustenance of peace between I and my big brother. Mm -hmm. And for long life in his throne. And may you live forever. Forever. You say? You say. 
Thank you very much, brother. You're welcome, my brother. So, um, I'll go right now. I, I, I'll go. You take care of yourself. If I am. Yeah. By the time you come back, a banquet will be waiting for you. We must celebrate this properly. Oh, <laughs> come here, brother. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. So you run along, huh? Have a great day. Thank you. I've got my brother the fool to think I'm on his side. <laughs> I mean, it's just so easy to be deceived. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even fall to my tricks. But you know, that's uh, Kalechi for you. Oh, Kalechi. He's a fool. He is. He's a fool. And that is why I say he can be king. What do you think? You're right, my friends. He, yes, he can be a the king he's so easy to be drawn out and he's so easy to be deceived um have you got the man ready yes my prince you're sure about that they are ready and raring to go good now i have to go around to that kingdom round the pestilence in the, the, the kingdom so-called people that call themselves Important people. I have to go there now and talk to them so I can defend my dignity over what I'm about to do right now. Over what I'm about to do right now. They will crash cause all they want to do is to achieve their evil intentions. Oh, what a world. What a wicked world. What a wicked world. Living in. I'm so glad, honestly, I am. I mean, I'm extremely excited that you came. It's so boring this class without no one to talk to, Lord. I understand, at least I had fun too. At least now I have the most expensive jerseys to go home with. <laughs> but, my dear, you have to be careful because with what you have in mind, you can easily land yourself in trouble. Don't worry. Now, I am the maiden of the palace, the queen of the kingdom. I know very well how to handle my business. You just need to be careful there. <laughs> we all need to be careful. I mean, you need to be careful. But I do intend to be careful while I catch my phone. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to miss it. You'll be good. Me too. Um, be good. Bye. Hey, how are you? Tala. How's all of you? Tala. 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 How's business? Tala. 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 The memory card, I can't find it. Memory card? What memory card are you talking about? The memory card with Prince Ivani on it. It is missing. Yeah. That is not possible. I saw it the day before yesterday. In this place. And that is where I kept it. Are you sure you checked it very well? What would have happened to it now? That is what I don't know. I was sitting in the living room when it occurred to me to come upstairs and check. And I searched everywhere. I can't find it. Look 
guy must have taken it. Oh. He must have taken that card. Oh God. Oh God. I tried to push that possibility to the back of my heart. But I knew it. I knew it the moment I couldn't find that memory card. Did he tell me where he was going to when he left the house this morning? He said he was going to the palace to see Prince Ifani. Hi! Oh God. Only God knows what that boy would have done with that memory card. What is wrong with this boy now? Hi! This boy. What's up, Lily? Let me have the memory card you took from my wardrobe and let me have it right away, Ugani. Memory card. I don't have it. But it's somewhere where it's fetching us some good money. We're gonna have money and power. I can see that you are drunk. But that's not going to stop you from telling me where the memory card is and what you have done with it. Drunk? Come on, Dad. I'm not drunk. Where is the card? I only went out to celebrate our newfound power. As for the card, I've handed it over to Prince Ifai. What? I'm sure he was a shiver in his pants right now. I should have known that I have a weakling as a son. A weakling and an idiot. I'm going to surprise you, Dad. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to become king of this kingdom, whether you like it or not. You're going to sit there, watch the crown being placed on my head. Tomorrow morning, Prince Kalechi is dead. And after then, I'm going to blackmail Ifan with a card. Do you really think Ifan is going to do what you want? That was the only copy we had. And you handed it over to Ifani. And you think I told him so? Oh. Oh. So you think I'm that stupid to have told him that? Look. He thinks I have various copies hidden all over the place for my own protection. Dad, I'm going to be king of this kingdom whether you like it or not. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thomas and family. How are you doing? Do you want a handshake? You should have seen the way he bowed down before me. If I is now a changed man and he has accepted to work with me for the benefit of our kingdom. He's suddenly a changed man. And you don't see anything suspicious about that. Why should I be suspicious? If I is my younger brother, remember? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm just happy for the man he has become. That's what matters. Hmm. My king, I am happy that you're now in good terms with your younger brother. But I want you to be very careful with him. I don't want you to give yourself into his arms completely until you find out his motives for this sudden change. I understand, Isabella. If I had been a pain on everybody's neck. But believe me when I tell you that I am completely and totally tired of fighting with him. He has accepted me as king. Why create any more tensions? Because your brother is a snake. And he has a way of getting things in his own way. Anyone dealing with him must be very careful. Enough of this conversation, Isabella. Seriously, I don't like the way you're taking this. I expected you to be happy with me. That I and Ifai are now friends. We are being overly suspicious over nothing. I am sorry, my king. Pardon me. You see, I was only trying to voice out my fears and to make sure you're careful about... That. Stop, Isabella. Just stop. Just help me assign some attendance to prepare a banquet for myself and my brother. Yes, your highness. I intend to host him when he comes back today. Yes, your highness. Ooh, 
I need to go spend some time with my wife, you know. Life is really good. Everything is falling in place. Come on, cheer up. There's no problems. Yes, Your Highness. Have a nice day, sir. You are too soft to be a king, my son. Too soft and too trusting. May the gods protect you. So go on. You really messed up. Hmm? You really messed up. The very moment you brought that memory card to me. Please, please. That was a mistake. I don't know what came over me, please. Really? You're scared now. <laughs> you don't know what came over you. So tell me, at what point did you not know what came over you? Was it at the point where you were filming me? Or the point where when you decided to bring the tape to me? Huh? Answer me! Please, let me finish. What are you going to do to us? There's no way you can kill us and get away with it. Yes. Yes, we have several other copies of the card and they have been scattered with other people to make it public. Yes. We are dead. Oh, really? <laughs> Unfortunately, you forgot to send some of the copies to hell because that's what I'm here to take you guys to. All of you. Oh, please. Now, let me tell you something. Mr. Thomas, I overheard you. I overheard all of you talking about the video, that it was the only copy. Uh, I overheard this long before I showed uh, my presence. Please, I'm, I'm your friend. You scared now? You scared now? You can't kill us. Oh, really? eliminated them right now they're on their way to hell beautiful okay um take away this man just take him off take him off take him out of here we don't have time just do it now please Where's the field? Yeah. Okay, take it and burn down the house right now. We don't have time. Do it immediately. We drove around where people would see you. Yes, my prince. Okay, let's go. Okay, my prince. I don't know 
why the police are complicating this matter. Today they say it's murder. Tomorrow they say it's domestic accident. What do they want us to do now? We are tired the way this investigation is going on. But if someone or some group of people conspire to come and kill Chief Thomas and all members of his family one day, then I'm really scared. Who is even safe in this community again? Nobody. Nobody is safe at all. Nobody. What if the killers came from outside the kingdom? Who knows? Maybe this is a case of some business deals gone bad. Business deal gone bad? Yes. I don't believe so. We all knew Chief Thomas, how much he hated going outside this community for anything. Top place of doing business of such magnitude without informing people. No, I don't believe so. Okay. I'm really tired of where everything is going. The death of Chief Thomas and his family in one day is a monumental loss to this kingdom. Um, my suggestions is, uh, anyway, to set up a committee within us so as to come up with um, a, good, a better result over, the, over what the police are, are, are giving to us. Do you think so? Of course. I know so. See, um, we must make sure that the perpetrators of such a heinous crime mm. do not go scot-free. Hmm. So, who do I appoint to handle such a task? Um, well, Your Highness, I, I must say that uh, Chief Thomas and uh, has been a very great member of this kingdom. And uh, Ogwanyi is a bosom friend of mine. So I think the best thing to do is to make sure that we, we, we do not let them go like that. I am suggesting that I am the capable person that can take care of this, this that can head such a committee. Thank you, Fine. You know, I'll be very grateful if you can handle this matter and come back with something positive. Oh, of course, Your Highness. Um, Miss Chief Thomas was a very great member of this kingdom. And uh, Ugoin is a very, is a bosom friend of mine. And uh, so I think whoever that has deprived us of their presence should not be allowed to go scot-free. Wow. So with that, I am certain that is possible. Thank you very much, Fai. Thank you very much. <laughs> My elders, there is one more thing that has been bothering my mind. We all know that Chief Thomas is dead. Yes. And a vacuum has been created in this kingdom. You will permit me to appoint a new Prime Minister, even if it's on a temporary basis, to fill that gap, for it is not good for our kingdom. I will appoint one person among us here, to become the new Prime Minister. <laughs> Permit me to appoint my brother, if I, as a new Prime Minister. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, my elders. I appreciate it. Oh, my friends. How did you get in here? What are you doing there? Oh, relax. No, my son. It can take place anytime. And I want it done now. So, both of you should start making the preparations. Uh, so that um, I would not sit before I will join my ancestors. Well, in that case, Father, I'll put Ifa in charge of the coronation plans. Since he's now my Prime Minister, I don't think anyone else is fit for such arrangements. Okay. Very good. 
very good. I, you be fine, Father. I like that. I don't My love, can't guess how long I've been waiting for you to finish the meeting. It's your father and Kalichi. So you and I could be together. I missed you so much. Just kiss me, just kiss. What's wrong? Why are you acting weird? I mean, father's gonna coronate. Kelechi very soon. And? And I can't allow him to be king over me. I can't. Oh, come on, my God. That's bound to happen sooner or later. What were you expecting? Besides, why is that bothering you? I don't know, but I, all I know is that I, I can't allow I can't allow him to be, be king at, at, at all. I can't. I'd rather kill him first. <laughs> You know why I like you? You're a man of action. I love such men. Well, if you kill your brother, I have nothing to lose. I mean, if you kill him, you become king, and I automatically become your wife, right? Of course, I mean, and all this hide and seek between you and I will end. No. Let me guess. <clears throat> Let me guess. You smell a rat. I smell that in a few seconds from now, he'd be asking me to help you kill your brother. Of course, I mean, you're just the right person that can handle this. I mean, you're, you're a smart woman. What's your plan? I don't know, but I... I don't mind him getting poisoned. I mean, something to render him incapable of performing his duties as king designate. And in that way, I can come over and, and be, I, I can be king designate. And when he's dead, I become king. I'll help you. Mm hmm. I will help you. But, but first. I am tired of all this English. Let's stop speaking English. Why don't you take me to your room and show me your new skill? <laughs> what are you saying? How could you say that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the wine's here. The wine's here. The wine's here. The wine's here. Pleasant surprise. I, I haven't seen you in my chambers for a while now. I know, I know. I've been so busy with the people, you know. But I'm here now. <laughs> you are. But guess what? I got good news. Oh, my ears are open to hear, Your Highness. <laughs> <laughs> my coronation is coming up soon. Yes. My kingship is about to be fully. Yes? 
What can I do for you? Please, can I have a word with you? Alone. You may leave. This had better be reasonable and fast. As you can see, my maidens were attending to me before you came. Make it fast. I know what you've been doing with Prince Ifani, and I want you to stop it henceforth. What did you say? I know you heard me well enough, and I've come to give you this as a warning. The very last warning. The next time I catch you sneak in and out of Prince Ifani's quarters, I must make sure you're caught and disgraced by everyone in this kingdom. How dare you! How dare you point your fingers at me when you speak! How dare you speak of me in such despicable manner? Have you forgotten who I am? I know who you are. And it surprises me that you're behaving like a common slut. <gasps> I warned you. I warned you not to cause this affection between Prince Kalecha and Ifani. But it's evidently clear that's what you have in mind. You are so Amanda! Save the long talk and the fake indignation. I want you to know that I've been in this palace long before you were even born. This kingdom must stand tall. And I cannot stand by and watch a woman like you come in here and desecrate our kingdom. If I ever catch you sneak inside Prince Ifani's house again, it will be your last time in this kingdom. <gasps> I've spoken and I mean it. <gasps> she threatens me? My last time in the palace. She? Yes, yeah, come in. My prince. How about later?
father. But, but here I am, offering myself to serve my people. What is the problem with that? Why is my request being rejected? Eh? Because you are not ready for such aggrandizement. Yes. Eh? We are talking about how your senior brother took ill. A strange illness for that matter. And Madame Isabella that just died of heart attack. I wouldn't want to mention Chief Thomas and his entire family. All this happening before me. Listen to me, son. This fight for positions must be stopped for now. Stop that and let me be. Father, this whole thing is making me go crazy. I'm just saying I'm capable. I want to take over from Kelechi, who is the king designate. Who can't even perform his functions now because he's ill. I am the one who will make you the king designate. And I said that you are not ripe for it. Why can't you wait? When the time comes, I will let you become one. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. I'm all out having a feeling that I'm being hated. <laughs> I don't care about these people. But all I know is I've been hated. Efanyi, do you know you are very, very insensitive? Me? Yes! How? Otherwise, how can I be telling you about all these debts registered in my kingdom? And you are not touched. And all you cared about is how to get to the throne and become the king. Now, do you even know that with all these facts before me, I can suspect that you are the one that poisoned your brother? Me. Yes, you. Me, father. I did not. I did not. All I've done here in this, is this kingdom is to, to play my role. I've worked. Everybody can bear me witness. There are witnesses everywhere. I have worked and I've played my role. And I asked you, what have you done? What have I done? What have you done for your people? What have you done for this kingdom, Ifani? What? what? Ifani, please let me be. Let me be, Ifani. And as far as this matter is concerned, I am done with that. Good day. It's okay. I understand. It's okay. I see what I see what you It's sad to see how some people can be so wicked it's hard to believe how did the go? extent they're willing to I mean, it didn't go too well at all i mean he's still refusing me the throne he's still adamant about it i mean all he said was for me to be patient for how long am i going to be patient my love take it easy if he wants you to be patient then be patient Patient. For how long? For how long, Amanda? I can't, I can't bear this. You know my pursuit and my quest for the throne. I mean, I have to do something drastic, something terrible that was poor and, 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 and you know, send something. I mean, the best thing for me to do is to just leave, leave this kingdom and go someplace else. Leave? You want to leave the kingdom? To where, if I... To where? And leave me here. What are you doing here without you? If you have to leave the kingdom, then I have to go with you. You don't understand, Amanda. We all can't just leave. Someone has to be there and someone has to be here. And you have to be here. Stay back and do what? So you can look out for things for us. Please. I know it's hard and difficult, but please, I'm sorry. Huh? stay here without you. Please, Amanda, please, just understand, I'm sorry. Please, but you have to stay back. We can't all go together. Someone has to be here and stand for us. Please stand for us here. I'm sorry, please. 
I've spent my entire life longing to sit on this throne as king. And I've done a lot to make that happen. But despite everything, it, it doesn't want to happen. Nothing want to happen. Why is that so? Why? When am I going to ever sit on this throne as king? When? <laughs> My daughter, what is it? Why are you wearing a sad face? Your Majesty, your son, the Prince, he has left the palace and the kingdom for good. What? When did that happen? Because I spoke with him last night. This morning, Your Majesty. He left this morning. He left a note with his guard, Utundu, for you. Utundu was afraid to deliver the note to you, so he gave it to me. Oh my God. What is happening? Huh? Why do all my children want me dead before my time? Why? Highness, do you have any idea why he left the palace? Yes. I want to become the king right away. But I told him to allow me to finish mourning Isabella. Hmm? Isabella is one woman that stood by me for a very long time since I became the king. He even took care of uh, Ifani and Kelechi. But Ifani wouldn't listen to me. Huh? Your Majesty, that means you have to reconsider. You have to change your mind and bring him back. I mean, judging from the content of his letter, I don't think we'll ever see him again if you don't give him the kingship. Let's give him the kingship so he can come back to us. <laughs> if I give him the kingship, what happens to your husband? I mean, by the time your husband gets well, will he be able to relinquish the throne to him? He... Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sure he will, Your Majesty. I'm sure he will. Now, have you discussed this with him before? <laughs> of course not. No. Your Majesty, I am only worried about what people will say when they find out he's not in the palace. They'll think all is not well with us. And that isn't good for any of us at all. <laughs> no. The friend is my son. And I know him well enough to know that um, Making him the king designate now would be a great mistake. Okay? Let him be. Leave him. Let him go to wherever he wants to go to. This is his home. He will long for it and come back. Uh, sorry, Your Majesty. But um, I um, just... Enough, Amanda. Please. I have not. Where is your daughter? Your daughter has been missing in this palace for some days now. In fact, for two days now, I have not set my eyes on her. She's been missing. And when we checked her quarters, we found out that a lot of her things have been moved out of this palace. My king, I swear, I don't know where she is. She has not been confiding in me for some time now. Your daughter has been behaving strangely recently. When her husband died, she was sad. And she cried a lot. And I understood that to be a sad woman that lost her husband. No wonder 
She has been walking around this palace absent mindedly. And suddenly she became so radiant as if she has gotten another lover. God forbid, my king. That is against the tradition of her land. She is the queen now and must marry whoever that sits on the throne as king. But she's nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found around this palace. Where is she? Now tell me she has gotten another lover somewhere else. She has moved with another man. My king, believe me when I say I don't know where she is. That is the truth. And I am sure you know that I have every good intentions to look for her. Everywhere that she is. And when I find her, that she must face my rot. I know that, my king. I know. Good. Now, are you aware that she is pregnant? Yes, she told me. Good. Are you also aware that my son is not responsible for that pregnancy? What? Oh, yes, you heard me. My son is not responsible for that pregnancy. You don't know how excited I am. I mean, you being here, it's, it's, so, it's so nice. You don't know how hell it is staying in the city without you for the past six months. Six months without me? When you left me in that palace of horror for six months, do you know the hell I went through? I know. I honestly do know. I understand, but I needed you to be there to look out for things. Of what use would that be? Of what use has that even been? I know. I know. You know, when I heard that Kalechi died, my hopes grew and I was so excited, thinking thinking that man would call me and, and, and give me the throne, but later I heard he, he went back on the throne. That man is such a hard nut to crack. Well, you took after your father, right? You are as stubborn as your father is. <laughs> I really didn't care about Kalechi's death. I mean, not like I'm some mean person, but I just couldn't care less. Worst of all, the man kept looking at me as if he was so certain I had a hand in his son's death. I felt so uncomfortable, I had to black out. Are you serious? Yes. I was okay. And I also heard Otondo died. What really killed him? Suicide. Suicide? Mm-hmm. That isn't like the Otondo I used to know. How, how come? No, well, lots of things change. In six months, lots of things can change. Wow. That's crazy. So tell me, what's been happening to you? Well, I'm just here. I've just, just been here trying to contain myself in my little sphere of life and running my business, doing what I'm doing. And, well, look, my mind just can't stay away from that throne. I try to many times as possible, but I still I'm engulfed in that passion for the throne. If I mm. you just can't let go of the desire of being king, can you? I can't. I can't, my dear. I just I just can't. I try I try many times to No, I just can't. Are you enjoying what you're eating? Yes, I am. I honestly don't know how to start this discussion. Just, just go ahead, I'm all ears. I'm listening. I'm pregnant. So you're pregnant for Kalechi, right? Kalechi. If I, Kalechi and I never slept together, that's my life. No. My love. I'm pregnant for you. I'm pregnant with your child. And I suspect your father knows already. The way he looks at me. Why aren't you saying anything? If... Why aren't you saying anything? 
save anything. Just give me a moment. He said, give me a moment. If I am. If I Hundra, hundra. Who sent senti? Who sent senti? Hundra, hundra. Who sent senti? Hundra, who sent senti? Who sent senti? Hundra, hundra. Who sent senti? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? You don't have to see this. What is it I don't have to see? Why did you start doing rituals? Let me tell you something. Listen, I need to sacrifice somebody, and you are the food to the gods. God forbid. You are no food for the gods. What are you doing? Now, if you must know, I sacrifice a tondo. And it's clear to me that I need to sacrifice someone else in pursuit of my tune. And you are the next person. No! The company is coming out! No! 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 Come here! Come here! Where are you? Come here! Come here! Amanda. Amanda, just come out, please. Come out. This is why I invited you over here. To be with me. I was informed that the gods want two people and as human sacrifice and I've, I've sacrificed or turned or ready to them. I can't, I can't go back but continue. Amanda. Papa! No! Oh, Kilichi. You had everything any woman would need. You had my love and that of my father. And yet you allowed amorous and illicit desires to cover your heart. You caused my untimely death. 
and for that and other sins you've committed, you shall be punished greatly. Your forgiveness lies with those who are still living. You have one day to go and confess all the atrocities you committed with my brother. As for Ifai, who sold his soul to the devil because of desire to be king, his punishment is being murdered out to him even now. Today, I am quite very, very happy. You all are aware of the terrible things that happened in my kingdom, in my palace, too. As for me, as a man, I leave everything for the gods to handle and take decisions on. <clears throat> you will all remember how I made my late son, Prince Kelechi, my king designate for my people. It was the same period that we lost Chief Thomas and his entire family. Long after that, Madame Isabella, a great woman of honor and the chaplain of this palace, died of heart attack. Long after that, my son, my hair apparent, Prince Ifani took off and left me alone in this palace for more than six months now. And up till now, we have not seen or heard from him. His reason was that I refused to make him king when his brother, 
took ill. Now, I want all of you to listen to me. Listen good. In the event that I am no more, that I join my ancestors, please make sure that Prince Ephani never became king after me. I repeat, don't ever crown Prince Ephani the king of our land. I have spoken. I don't know how he pushed me into this. I don't know how I got into this. Please have mercy on me. Please, I mean, I'm not innocent, but I don't know how I got into this. I don't know what got into me. It's only the gods that will forgive you, Amanda. Only the gods. And as for you, come here, come here. I'm not surprised that you ended up like this. <laughs> Now, um, both of you are hereby banished from this kingdom. It serves him right. Both of you are hereby banished from this kingdom. And any attempt to come back to this kingdom, both of you will be stoned to death. Now, guards, your highness, take them away. <laughs> 